And finally, new rule. In order to simplify things, the RNC must just tell us which Republicans aren't running for president. <laughs> yes, the field is more crowded at an earlier time than ever because each of these corporate ass lickers <laughs> wants to sign up mega rich donors like Sheldon Adelson before one of the other guys in the pack blows him first. <laughs> So tonight, as a service to billionaires who want to know which one of these gems to write the check to, I've put together this helpful 2016 Billionaire Buyer's Guide <laughs> for the oligarch who wants to make an informed choice. So there we go. Let's count it down. The candidates according to their current standing in the polls, starting at the bottom <laughs> with Rick Perry. <laughs> On the upside, Rick wears glasses now, so I guess he's not stupid anymore. <laughs> On the downside, he's an evangelical Texas shit kicker with limited intellect, and when has that ever led us astray? <laughs> In eighth place is Marco Rubio. His strengths include fundraising and reaching for a bottle of water without anyone noticing. <laughs> But on the downside, most Americans think he's that kid Janet Reno sent back to Cuba. <laughs> Next is Ted Cruz. Ted was born in Canada. But don't let that fool you, he's a real asshole. And a big fan of the Keystone oil pipeline because he also oozed down from Canada Tech. <laughs> to Texas, where he grew up to be the scariest Hispanic to come out of that state since Javier Bardem and No Country for Old Men. <laughs> <laughs> On the upside, oh, there's no upside to Ted Cruz. <laughs> He's what you'd get if Ayn Rand had half a sex change and moved to Waco. <laughs> In sixth place is Rand Paul, who has some really good ideas, like reduced drug sentences and allowing ex-cons to vote, but also some crazy ones. He's like a Swiss army knife, where half the blades are useful and half are Q-tips and AIDS needles. <laughs> but what I really like about <laughs> Rand Paul is he's a true maverick. While most guys with a toupee want it to look like real hair, he styles his real hair to make it look like a toupee. <laughs> Mike Huckabee. You know, it's the darndest thing about Mike. Everyone says he's likable, but no one says they like him. <laughs> Mike's a culture warrior who represents conservatives who are still pretty sore about Obama being black. <laughs> Unfortunately for Mike, it looks like most of his base has moved on. And by that, I mean they're dead. <laughs> Dr. Ben Carson is the Republican's black friend du jour. And although he... <laughs> Although he's a celebrated, now retired, brain surgeon, he believes that gay marriage caused the fall of the Roman Empire, that the Affordable Health Care Act is, quote, the worst thing that has happened to America since slavery, and that Obama may cancel the 2016 election and declare martial law. Ben, I know you don't practice anymore, but if you still have your brain tools, here's what I suggest. <laughs> Lie down. Put a mirror over your head so you can see what you're doing and start cutting. <laughs> because you're an insane, paranoid liar who will say absolutely anything. Or as Fox News puts it, when can you start? <laughs> Coming in at number three in the polls is New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. On the plus side, people say Christie's more authentic than the others. And they like him because he always goes with his gut. Bakeries like him for the same reason. <laughs> and talk about determination. Which other candidate could have a doctor operate on his stomach and tie it off so that food could barely get in and still find a way to stay fat as a house? <laughs> yes, it's Chris Christie one, lap band, nothing. And don't think he won't do the same thing to you in the primaries. He will chew you up and not spit you out. <laughs> ah, at number two, Jeb Bush, whose strength, of course, is that he's the smart Bush. <laughs> Downside, 
Well, his brother left office with an approval rating of 22 percent, whereas Bill Clinton went out with a 68 percent approval, so advantage Hillary there. In terms of brand loyalty, Hillary's like if your last card was a Camry, and Jeb is like if your last car was a clown shoot you out of a cannon. <laughs> And the current number one choice among likely Republican voters, a man who needs no introduction because he's been stalking us the last eight years, the unbearable whiteness of being, <laughs> Mitt Romney. Now, on the plus side, Mitt wants to be president like your dog wants that half a Slim Jim you drop down inside the couch. <laughs> on the downside, Mitt's speeches are so boring, Bill Cosby uses them to knock out aspiring <laughs> actresses. <laughs> So good luck, billionaires. It's an embarrassment of riches. All right, that's our show.